Jeannie Gom, and I'm an artist at Gom Stained Glass. And today um, I'd like to welcome you to uh, one of our online courses. And it's just a part of online courses that we would like to give as part of helping you to understand how stained glass works and the little tricks of the trade that we'd like to share with you. Today is tips on tips. Let me explain. So, we have some soldering irons here, and some of them have pretty gross tips. Well, you don't want to uh, solder with a, a tip like that, and you want your iron to be able to last longer. So we're going to show you how to extend the life of your iron. Now this one, as you can see, is pretty corroded at the end. And so um, if you wanted to, to change the tip, you couldn't even get this out. Okay. So we were able to take out the set screw with this Allen key, but we still were not able to take out the tip. It is just stuck tight in there. So we're still using this iron, but it's not going to last very much longer. So we'll just use it as long as we can. But, so here's what a brand new one looks like. Ah, isn't that gorgeous? And so we're going to, instead of buying a new whole soldering iron every time, we're going to show you how to make yours last longer. So, the way to make it last longer is to take this tip out every time um, you're finished for the day and you're wanting to, to let it cool off, then we're going to change that. So, we'll get this and just unscrew that little tiny thing. And now, I like to leave it in there because if I take it out, it is so tiny that I'm afraid that it's going to get lost. So I think that's screwed out enough. Yes. And then I can pull this out. Okay. Now, as you can see, that's still pretty corroded. So, you know, we're extending it as much as we can by taking it apart. Now, be very careful because if you have just finished for the day and this is still warm, be sure to use your pliers on this because you do not want to burn yourself. And also put it on the metal part. Don't just set it down on your table because it's still hot and you don't want to burn anything there. So you can set it on, on there too. Okay, so then when you're ready to put on your new one, very important thing, make sure that your iron is unplugged when you do this. So you don't want to short out your iron, you don't want to burn yourself, so lots of good reasons. Okay. All right, so I'm going to slide this in here. Okay, now as you notice, this went all the way in. We don't want that to happen because we don't want it to touch the wires down there because we don't want it to short out. So we're going to pull it out just a little bit. And we're going to tighten it up. All right, this is the second part of this tips on tips instruction. You'll see that this tip is really kind of worn out. It's shot. Now, this is a tip for when you don't have a replacement tip and you can't get the old one out anyhow. This one's frozen. It's no good. I'm going to have to throw the iron away. But there is a way. Let's suppose you've ordered a couple of irons and you're waiting for them in shipping. This will get you through for a day or two. So here's what I'm going to do. I've got a sander here. You can also do this on a grinder. But it's a good idea to wear them face mask so you don't get you don't breathe lead
that I'm grinding off the uh, the solder, and but I've still got a hole on this side, so I'm going to grind some more. So, I haven't been able to get a perfectly flat, um, perfect uh, grind here. You see, it'll, it's still got a pock mark in it. But I've gotten down to where I've uncovered the lead. You can now see that this tip is made of copper. The whole thing is copper. The reason it looks silver is because it's been tinned. So now what I'm going to do is take it over, heat it up, and tin it so that I can show you how, how you'll be able to use this. So this will take a second. Let me get it warmed up. Okay, this is uh, heating up, so I have to be careful not to burn myself. But what I'm doing is I'm wrapping a wrap of solder right around the tip. And I was hoping to get it all the way wrapped before it got hot enough to uh, melt the solder, but there it is. It's melting the solder. This is the way they tinned them back in the olden days. You know, it used to be that you bought a solder tip, a uh, soldering iron with a tip, and it wasn't silver, it was copper. They didn't used to tin them for you. But now here's that. This is the side that was still kind of cruddy looking. And it never was clean. And then this is the side that looked copper. And see, you can see that indentation there. Now, uh, that tip is actually good enough so I can show you here that tips good enough to solder with now so I've extended the life you know for a day or two but that's not a very good permanent fix that's just one to keep you going in case you're on a deadline and believe me we've been on a deadline and had uh, had to resort to this this method but see that's pretty cool I think that uh, that I could grind it flat sand it flat and get it to work again for a little while And I have about the same kind of control as I had before, so so I'm I'm very happy with that. And uh, all right, so those are our tips on tips. Hope that uh, hope you join Jeannie and I again in the studio. See ya. Mm -hmm.